Prepare ye the work, the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low. And the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord hath spoken. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. We thank the Lord for the reading of the word. Praise be to God. We bless you. Amen. To remain standing as I would just, Sister Skinner comes. Amen. And lead us to the throne of grace. Amen. And we thank God for all of you just being here. Amen. 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 This is our opening prayer. Amen. So get your requests. Amen. Get your requests ready now. Praise God. As she prays, <clears throat> lead us to the throne of grace. God bless you today. Sister Skin, in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Today, Lord Amen. Jesus, for this day, Lord Jesus, oh, we thank you for waking us up this morning, Lord. Amen. We thank you for watching over us last night while we're sleeping, Lord. And I come to give you glory and honor today, Lord. I lift your name up high, Lord Jesus, because you are worthy to be praised, Lord. And I thank you right now, Lord. I thank you, Lord Jesus. You didn't have to do it, but you did, Lord. You are. 
always told me, he said, you got to be ready, not getting ready, but be ready so you can walk in Jerusalem, <laughs> just like John, hallelujah, how many want to be ready, how many are ready, Amen. how many are ready, see you can't be getting ready, pastor always told us, he said, if you're ready, stay ready, I know a lot of people get ready, and then they get unready. Huh? He said, but if you're ready, stay ready. If you ain't ready, get ready. So you can walk in Jerusalem. Amen. Just like John. I want to be ready. Huh? I want to be ready when he comes. Amen. When he cracks the sky. Huh? Good God Almighty, to pick up the church. He ain't taking everybody back That's right. when he comes up first time. He's going to pick up the church. He's coming for his church. The baptized believers that have taken them on by the water of baptism in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. Praise be to God. Walking in the spirit, not in the flesh. Praise be to God. For they that in the flesh cannot please him. But we are no more in the flesh, but in the spirit. 
Praise be to God. Why? Because we're born again. Praise be to God. It's not just a song. It's reality that you be born again. Amen. Huh? I don't know when he's coming for me, but I'll tell you what I'm everything I can stay ready. See, I got ready. Now I'm gonna stay ready. I'm not gonna let nobody take me out of my safety zone. Praise be to God. So many times we allow people to take us out uh, with situations of our comfort zone where we need to be in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Bishop. Praise be to God. Thank you. Amen. Everyone in their rightful place. So glad to see our visitors today. I want you to know you're not a visitor. You're my brother. If you've been born again and uh, you've walked in the spirit of God, Amen. Uh, you are my brother. Amen. You're my sister. Amen. Hello, here. Amen. Praise be to God. We are all one family. Amen. Hello, Amen. here. Praise be to God. Amen. Amen. Bless God. We thank God for you all. Amen. Being here today. Amen. We're going to move forward. Amen. In our amen service. Thank God for amen. Sister Barbara said that she was amen getting into the service. Yes, she Praise does. be to God. I don't know. Some of y'all might be here. Some of y'all might not be here. But today she jumps up and leaves her wheelchair. Amen. That's going to be the end of that service for amen. that day. Amen. Amen. We may have love in the next week, whatever, but that's going to end it that day. That's right. I assure Amen. you that's going to end it. Praise, Praise God. be to God. And that's just what he does. Thank you, Jesus. Uh-huh. We're going to begin operating as of this morning, the Lord say, operating in the supernatural. Amen. Somebody says supernatural. Supernatural. We've been in the natural long enough. We need to step over into the supernatural. Praise God. Yes. Praise be to God, so that you will understand the supernatural is nothing but super on your natural. Yes. Let me try it again. The supernatural is nothing but super on your natural. I mean, it's happening fast. Hello, we here. Amen. God doing things fast. Amen. Hello, we here. Praise be to God. Walking in the supernatural. Because it's already done. Yes, it Hello, we here. All we need to do is just receive it. What is already done. You don't know like I know what he's done for me. I'm Amen. happy. Praise God. How many can get happy all by yourself? You don't need nobody with you to get happy. Hello, right. in here, man. I tap the house all by myself, just Amen. me and Jesus. Amen. Hello. Praise be to God. You know why? I got him on the inside. Amen. Hello, in here. Some people got him. They kept him on him. He's living in me. Amen. Praise him. I said, he's living in me. Is he living in you? Can you raise your hand and say, he's living in me? He's living in Praise me. Praise be to God. If you're born again, he's living in you. Because when he knocked on your door, you, you open the door and let him come in. Amen. And he said, if you open him up, I'll come in. Somebody need to say something to me in here. Praise be to God. Amen. Identify yourself. Praise God. You remember that old program used to come on TV? Amen. About three, three people standing there talking about that name was the same name. Yeah. Praise be to God. They're trying to figure out which one really, which one is really the right one. And they said, will the real John Doe stand up, whatever his name may be? And all three of them, I got they can stand, but only one stands up. Uh, you need to be able to identify with Jesus. Amen. Huh? Because he was wounded for my yeah. transgression. Yeah. Bruised for my iniquity. Yeah. Just out of my peace. So upon him. With his stripes. We were healed, past it. You ain't got to get healed. Praise be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all ready healed. Amen. Ah, God, we playing catch up. Well, y'all playing catch up. I'm catching up. Praise Amen. be to God. People are waiting. Uh, just, let me just move on away from that. I want to say thank God for a prayer for our dear sister Jean. I got news that she had surgery and went through the surgery fine. Praise God. Praise be to God. I'm supposed to be. Uh, I think the daughter told me four hours and end up eight hours. We should come out with flying colors. Thank you, Jesus. Why? Because we pray. Amen. Huh? Yes. I said because we pray. Yes. And the word of God said the prayers of a righteous man are very much. But you know when you pray, praise be to God. Amen. God honors your words. Because you obey his word. I hope you do. 
That's the only way he's going to honor your words. Praise be to God. Amen, amen. I was thinking, amen, on the word of God, and we're going to get into the word of God. Amen. And somebody, somebody had a testimony, and they gave it to me. They might want to give it again. But I'm going to tell you something. Praise be to God. He said you live in houses yes. that you didn't build. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. He didn't say a house. He told them, he said, when you come into the good land, the promised land, yes. you live in houses that you didn't build. Huh? You have vineyards that you didn't plant. Yes. We're in that day. I'm telling you, people of God, we ain't got the, the wait is over. Yes, it is. I said the wait is over. You don't have to wait no longer. Praise be to God. All you got to do now is just begin to thank him for it. Praise God. Can I get one witness that's know that all you got to, Can I get a witness that know that oh, the, the scripture says this. He said, I will give you the desire of your heart. That sounds like to me. I don't have to ask him for it. I just desire it in my heart. It is, yeah. that, that's how my right vision. Huh? If I'm desiring it, he said, I will give you the desires of your heart. So if I'm desiring in my heart, Praise be to God. Being that man looking at the outward appearance, but God looking at the heart. He's looking in my heart. He sees what's in my heart. Yes. Praise be to God. And he sees that desire in my heart. I will give you, Spellman, the desires of your heart. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. He says, but it's a condition. You abide in me, and I abide in you. Let, let my word abide in you. That means stay in the word. You can't get out of the word. Praise God. That's out of his will. I praise him. I thank God, amen, because I found out this year, this year, I found out, 1967, I got filled with the Holy Ghost. Praise be to God, amen. Amen. I, I'm not talking about cash, but I'm talking about the Holy Ghost. Yes. Not for God of Ghost, praise be to God, amen. But amen, but you can, amen, see that lifestyle and know you ain't holy. They say you're not supposed to judge people, and I don't. But you tell me you're an apple tree, and I see pears hanging on you. I'm not crazy. You're not an apple tree, boy. You're a pear tree. Because an apple tree cannot bear pears. And praise be to God. And Jesus said this. He said, ye, ye should know them for the love they have one towards another. Amen. Hello, we here, Bishop. Amen. You're going to know me by my love. Uh, praise God. I, and I, I just been to someone this morning. Amen. I don't have no partiality love. Praise be to God. Amen. 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 You, I, it's either yes or no. You're right or you're wrong. Praise Amen. be to God. Hello. Praise God. Amen. I thank God. Amen. I stay on that same level. Amen. With my little baby back there. Amen. Amen. And not, not, there's a baby here. Yeah, she's a baby. Amen. She, she the last one came along. Amen. Praise be to God. I thank God for you all. And when I'm here, praise be to God, I make mention of you in my prayers. Amen. 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 I said I make mention of you in my prayers. Amen. And I'm going to say this to the glory of God. I don't pray no miss. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. I don't Amen. pray no miss. Amen. Hello, in here. I, think I don't pray no miss. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. I have an assurance. Amen. Confidence. And when I pour out my prayer about, it's going to happen for you. Praise be to God. The people come here, praise be to God, needed better things, better job. We prayed for a bishop, and they got it. A lot of things that happen that they ain't even told. Praise be to God. Amen. I boast not in me, but in the Lord, because he has our works. He told me if I obey his word, he will honor my words. Let me proud of him. If you obey his word, he will honor your words. As Elijah, is that not true? Amen. You know who Elijah is, I'm sure. And when Elijah talked about it raining, he didn't say the Lord God said that it wouldn't be in the rain for a space of three years or six months. He didn't say that. Elijah said, as the God of Israel lived it. Whom I stand before, according to my word, yes. I desire to get in that anointing, to walk in that anointing, 
that anointing be in me and on me. See, Bishop, it ain't just on. Back in the Old Testament, it was on them. But over here, since Jesus come, it's on us and in, and in us. Amen. Huh? Amen. You don't really know who you are. If you reach the point to know how powerful you are, man, the enemy would be very careful how he walk through your block. Forget about coming in your house. Let me get back up here. Praise him. Huh? He said, Behold, after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, ye shall have power over all unclean spirits. Do you have that power? You probably have it and don't even know it. There are people that are filled with the Holy Ghost that have that power and don't even know it. You know why? Because they never exercise it. They never put it to the test. Huh? Praise God. He didn't say I'm going to give Pastor Spellman more power than I give you. Oh, ain't but one Holy Ghost. That's right. Huh? It's only one. And he's the one. He comes in my life. He comes in your life. You have the same authority. Praise be to God. He gives you that authority in the earth realm. Do you know who you are? This is not our home. We're passing through. Praise God. He left us here. We're kingdom people. I was thinking, amen, dip diplomatic bishop, you know, when someone's come from another country, praise be to God, they come with authority, amen, to do what they come in that country to do. Is that not right? Amen. A diplomat, praise be to God. They used to be in New York City, praise God. They park anywhere. Nobody bothered them. They, their cars never got there. They, they had diplomatic, amen, authority. Well, let me tell you about you and I. Let me tell you about you and I. Praise God. I want to tell you about. I want to tell you about you and I. We have. We're kingdom people. We're kingdom people. God bless you, baby. We're kingdom people. No, let me talk about myself. Cause y'all looking at me strange. I'm a kingdom person. Yes. Huh? I'm from the king. Look, 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 take them across that way. Next time you're going to go around that way. Amen. Somebody need to tell her. I guess I'll have to do it. Praise God. Amen. Amen. We're kingdom people. Amen. I'm a kingdom man. I'm here, amen, on kingdom business. Huh? I'm from the kingdom of God. I'm here on kingdom business with kingdom authority and with kingdom power. The authority is that what he's given us. The Holy Ghost. And it's giving us authority. That's it, baby. She can be my little usher good night. Yes. Praise be to God. <laughs> She'll find something to do anyhow. Praise the Lord. So I want to say this to you. You are, you are more than a conqueror. Do you believe this word? He said you're more than a conqueror. That's whatever's going on, praise be to God, in your life or around you, it ain't no Red Sea. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. It's not a Red Sea. And, there, and everything, amen, that was against, amen, Israel got drowned in the Red Sea. Amen. Amen. You have victory. What's that song say? I see victory. And it's headed straight for me. Amen. I believe. I believe. Praise God. I, I, I thought y'all would get through. I, I, I came along. All right. <laughs> Praise God. I saw some of y'all go, I said, well, maybe I'll cool them off a little bit. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Victory. Victory over sin. Huh? Let me ask a question. I don't understand y'all. Man, 15, 20 years ago, when you talk about victory over sin and being saved and sanctified, man, the saints would almost tear the place up. Praising God because they know they weren't in sin. They know they were free. Go when the sun set free is free indeed. Amen. But if you've been, amen, watering all week long in the things of the devil, you can't praise God this morning. Amen. It don't work. Because you got weight. Amen. That heavy load. Praise God. Amen. And the enemy sits in your lap to keep you from praising God. Because he don't want you to praise God. Because when you praise God, you get his attention. The word of God said his inhabitants. For he 
live at is in the praise. Amen. No matter how sick you may get, if you can just get out of praise and keep on praising him, you can feel better. Because yes. he lives in the praise. Yes, he does. Yes, praise he does. God. Amen. He's real. Thank you, praise be to God. He'll come to your house. Thank you, oh, yes, he will. Praise be to God. I praise him this morning. Thank you, I found out this year, saints, that he'll roll things in your life you least expect. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 I hope y'all listening. Yeah. Praise God. You ain't shouting, so I hope you're listening. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Healing is a children's bread. Praise God. Praise Him. Everything that you ever, ever wanted, He's already putting aside for you. He, praise be to God, ain't nothing you can ask that he didn't already know before he put you here that you were going to ask. That's right. And he knew if you were going to qualify for it before you, praise be to God. There's a song that I love to sing, praise be to God, it's, and the song says this, said, it's amazing to me, all the things you do for me, and I've never seen your face. Yes. And it goes on, it would satisfy my curiosity. The day that I see your face, he said, but you gave me the gift of life before I even knew who I was. At Calvary, you paid the ultimate price. And this is a true song. He gave me the gift of life. I don't know about you. Maybe many of you. Before I even knew who I was. Because we all came out from God. Let me try it over here. I said, we all came out from God. Yes, we did. Because the word of God says all souls are mine. But the soul that sins shall surely die. Yes. We all came out from God, but we all, amen, don't belong to God. Right. Amen. Praise be to God. Because he called some of the people, he said, your, your father is the devil. Praise be to God. But those of you I'm talking to who were born again out there that's viewing us this morning, praise be to God. You belong to God. Therefore, amen. You didn't choose him. He chose you. He sets. If you show up saved, he put something in your life. Praise be to God that made you go up roots. Amen. <laughs> made you stop in your tracks. Made you see that you had a need for him. Yes. I put my hand up. Maybe you can't. Praise be to God. Amen. I found I had a need for him. Yes. Praise be to God. And I cried unto the Lord. Y'all don't know about crying. They said, many is supposed to cry. He you gotta have some kind of outlet. Praise be to God. To hear birds, praise be to God. Amen. Amen. Ain't nothing wrong. Praise be to God. Amen. We're shedding a tear. Even Jesus Himself did. Praise be to God. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise Him. I'm glad. I thank God for the years. And when I look back and let my mind, Amen, peek back at the things. That he brought me through. Can I testify? Yes. Praise be to God. Because yes. I'm happy today. And you know, praise be to God. I've grown up. Because now I'm not a crybaby anymore. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Okay, God Almighty. But I can remember, Sister Amy, I had, some, I had a lot of cheery nights. Hello in here, praise be to God. I wish I had one with the sun. If you want to witness, you want to stand up, you go right ahead. Because I tell you, we're going to have every time you do. God, God bless you. I had more than one cry at night, Tony. The son or a nephew. I, I had some cry, cry at night, son. Oh, yes, I did. There was that uncle, but he didn't sleep. Folks tell me, I came fast. I tell you something, God will put something in your life. Not only when you fast, you will stop eating my God and sleeping too. He'll send a storm. Money. But one thing I know, one thing I know, through every storm, he brings you through. Oh, bless me to God. He'll never let a storm swallow you up. Hey, bless me to God. I praise him today. I praise him today. I've been in the storms. See, you talk about, I want to be this or I want to be that. You got, amen, to go through some storms and let him bring you through some storms that he may prove to you just who he is. I feel my help in here. Praise be to God. Amen. Amen. Ah, oh, God. And I was thanking, amen, through the times, amen, that 
I felt sad. I got I felt all of them rejected. Good God Almighty. Praise be to God. Uh-huh. I said, but thank be to God. Look what he's done for me. Yeah. Amen. He wiped my tears away. Yeah. I remember back 20 years ago, praise be to God. Amen. Lying in the bed and listening. Amen. Amen. And thinking what I was going through. And the water was running down my face. Just laying there, Amy. They were the tears were warm. I won't but they were just screaming down to suck my face. And Jesus said to me right at that point, he said, I'm gonna turn your weeping into rejoicing. I'm here to tell you today, if you hang in there, if you're alone and trust him, he'll turn around. Yes. Oh come. On. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I know what I'm talking about. This ain't something about told me. I've been there. Good God Almighty. I said, I've been there. Let him make you. The test come. The trial come. Only to make you strong. Yes. It don't come to take you out. Right? No. Stop giving the devil praise. The devil doing this, the devil doing that. God is allowing you to come through that. Mm -hmm. Good God Almighty. You know, I'm, I'm from the south. And I got tender feet now. Praise God. But in the south, I had some tough feet, boy. You know why? Because we walked barefoot for so, so long. Is there anybody in the one talking? So you know what I'm talking about. We didn't wear no shoes in the summertime. Couldn't wait till April. What was it? April the 15th? What was it, sister? Uh, whatever, whatever month it was. Mark, can I take my shoes off? Because you want to walk barefoot. Step on a broad deep in no mind. Stop. Pull it out and keep on going. I can't do that now. Praise God. Hello in here. But he makes you tough. That you can stand. That you have a testimony that will bless someone. I'm here to tell you, praise be to God, wherever you're at, he wants to bring you to the top. Good God Almighty. He never intended for you to be at the bottom. Read your Bible. He said, I'll make you the head and not the tail. He never intended for you to keep running and have the bottom. He said, I'll make you a lender and not a borrower. Praise be to God. Huh? Deuteronomy 8 chapter says, It is the Lord God that gives thee power to get well. He wants you to be healthy and wealthy. Yes. I'm going to these folks out here because y'all ain't been. I have a praise team out here. They, they listen to me when I turn around and talk to them outside. Praise be to God. Amen? Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. You don't have to wait. Praise be to God. Any longer Amen. for your house. Amen. Those of you the house, I know we got one or two people in the house shopping. Amen. Praise God. Right. Amen. Maybe more than that. Praise be to God. You ain't gotta wait. They when, when they build that house, the Lord, Lord knows it will build it for you. That's right. <laughs> Praise Him. Amen. <laughs> Hello in here. I want to say this to the glory of God, Sister Spirit, but that's that's my wife sitting over there. She probably remembers. I've been to a lot of going to revival. And the Lord anointing came on me to pray for folk to get a house. So I was praying for people to get a house. Just praise be to God. And there was a lot of people. And I was praying. I was praying. And this daughter stepped up. And I said, all right, daughter. What kind of house you want? Uh, you know, tell me what you want. Praise be to God. And she said, I don't want no house. I want an apartment. And I was young. In the Lord, then 20 years ago, young, didn't know what I know today. And I said, But listen, God has given away houses. You want an apartment? She said, Yes, I don't want no house. I want an apartment. God taught me something. He says, To bless and to help the people, you need to get on the same level that they're on. Mm -hmm. If they want an apartment, they want an apartment. I didn't know as much as I knew about the word. He says, How can two? He said, Wait, two touching. I can't agree for no house if she's agreeing for an apartment. It ain't going to work. That's right. That's right. Come on now. So I, I learned that you got to get up on that level. So somebody said, you said, you know what? I'm believing God for a million dollars. And someone said, I, I'm, I'm believing you too. I'm going to pray with you. I'm going to believe with you. I'm believing for 500. No, I don't need you. Because <laughs> you just reduced my number. Right. Are you listening to me? But it's this way too. Touching and agreeing. Huh? 
on anything that you ask in the earth, it shall be done. It shall be done. All you got to do is touch and agree. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Get someone that's going to be on that same level with you. And husband and wife work good together. Praise be to God. Amen. 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 When they love one another and they're walking in love, phew, and the enemy don't want it. That's why he'll always try to get you uh, uh, fighting and a feeling. Because he you knows if you walking in that, in that togetherness, good God Almighty. God honors it. He don't honor shacking up. Excuse me, night housekeeping. I know that's right. <laughs> you said right. <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. He don't honor that. Amen. He honors prayer. He said marriage is honorable. Yes. A bed and the vow. But I'm touching yes. a homo. He said, I'm going to judge you. That's right. Praise that's God. Word. Hello, in here. That is the word. When a husband and a wife come into agreement on anything, yes. praise be to God. You ain't got to have no. See, y'all start worrying about. I ain't got enough money. My father is rich. He's got all the money. He knows where all the money is. He knows how to get it to you. The Holy Ghost is what brings it to you. Anthony, you trying to figure it out with your own people, it ain't never going to happen. That's right. He said, because my thoughts are not your thoughts. He said, my ways is as far apart from your ways as is east is from the west. Yeah. But if you drop it over to me, yeah. if you turn it over to me, Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, I'll show you a mystery. Good God Almighty. I'm still in school. After for 45, almost 50 years, I'm still in school. A lot of folks done graduated, but I'm still learning. Praise God. And I want to learn. And I'll say it, amen, and everyone out watching and you too tonight, I'll say it, Sister Crump, right here, praying, praise be to God. Early in the morning, and he spoke to me. He said, you know very little. I said, nothing. He said, you know, you know very little. You have much to learn. I said, teach me, Lord. Some folk ain't teachable. Hello in here. Oh, I know that. Oh, I know that. You got a problem. Praise be to God. You got the amen except you become as a little child. Humble yourself. And want to learn and listen, not with this, but with your heart. Yes. God speaks to the heart. Yes, he Praise be to God. There are many sounds out there that comes to your ear. But he said, my sheep hear my voice. They know when I'm talking. When someone else is talking, they will rebuke that spirit. Yes. Hey, yeah. Thank you. Yes. Lord have mercy. God Almighty, I praise him today. Yes. I praise him today. Hallelujah. I acknowledge him today. Yes. He's my all in all, sister. Uh, yes. He just, since you went down south and come back, oh my God, he showed me so many wonderful things and done so many wonderful things and done so many wonderful things. Yes. Hey, God, he don't want you to be in debt. No, he wants no. you to be debt free. Praise yes. be to God. Yes. He said the, the borrower is a slave to the lender. Excuse me. When you borrow, you become a slave to the lender. Hello, we here. Sister Amy, start claiming no mortgage. You ain't supposed to know how. That's right. That's his part. That's it. Amen. Let me try it over here. You ain't supposed to know how he's going to get a million to you. That's his part. Yeah. Your part is to do what he tells you to do. Yes. All of you that feel the Holy Ghost. And you used to be liars and curses and fighters and liquorheads and whatever you want. You don't know how all that stuff left out of your life. But tell me something. Did it leave out? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Who did it? Jesus. God did it. Yes. There is, there is something about words. And that's why the word of God said that words are so powerful. Huh? That's why I talked about your tongue being a deadly poison because the words that come out of your mouth, words are so powerful. He said, if you say so, it's what you say is where you at. Uh, if you tell me where you at, amen, and I see where you at, I know what you've been saying. Yes. 
about yourself. And they say you shouldn't be talking to yourself. But I found out a long time ago, you got to talk to yourself about yourself. Hello, and yeah, praise be to God. Amen. Because when you get to talk to yourself and tell yourself, tell your mind, I am not sick. I'm healed. Amen. Your mind, as it sends signals over your body, those cells of all the sick, it will begin to tell them, we wake up, we ain't sick, we heal. Yes. That's it. Let me try it over here. Praise be to God. He said, let the sick say I'm healed. Let the poor say I'm rich. So now I said, I can't do that uh, because I'm sick. He never said you wasn't sick. He said, let the sick Say I'm healed. Yes. Because when you say you heal, praise be to God. That authorized heaven to respond to your request. Yes. Because he's waiting. Praise God. Heaven is waiting for earth's request. Yes. <laughs> heaven is waiting for you to send up a request. Because the word of God said when it comes up, when the praises go up, the blessings come. Yes. You got to send something up. If you ain't saying nothing, zero from zero, we zero. Yes. Hello with him. But you've got to begin to say something. I'm healed, praise be to God, by the wound in Jesus' side. Yeah. Hello, we here. You start saying it enough, you're going to find out you're healed. Praise be to God. You stop talking, po. I ain't got, I ain't got. That's keeping it from getting to you. Praise be to God. But faith is to hop up to the things hoped for. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing not seen. I don't see my 10 million. I do see my 10 million. Praise be to God. I don't see it in the natural realm, but I see it in the spiritual realm. Yes. No, ye not praise be to God. We're in two worlds. There's a natural side and there's a spiritual side. Yes, How are we yet? When you're born again, you shift over the spiritual side. Yes, right. And you see things in the spirit. Yes. Praise be to God. And the Bible talks about a colonized man cannot yes. praise be to God. See what you see. Yes. Know what you know. Right. They are foolish. Yes. All right. I'm going to just slow it right down. You, praise God. Yes. Amen. Yes. I ain't finished. Yes. But I'm going to slow it down. I'm, I'm gonna, I want to say something to you. I want you to think about something. Now when we see this universe, this whole world, the Bible said that we know through faith the world was framed. That's right. It was nothing. Sky and water. Yes. Good God Almighty. I'm excited. Praise be to God. As I said, my country boy, amen, amen, left the South a long time, but I know about water because I left the fish and I left the swim. Praise be to God. And I know about water. And then and not far from where my parents lived, there was a river. And then about another 10 miles, there was what we called the sound. Now, where we lived, it was like a river. It was called fresh water. The reason it was called fresh water, the water was dark, a little color to a dark. But you get in the boat and go about, Anthony, about uh, four or five miles out, you come into what we call the sound, the water would lighten up. Why? Because that was salt water. You can stop that boat where those waters met together. I'm talking about liquid. And they would not mix. <laughs> Praise him. I've looked at it more than one. Not only that, saltwater fish cannot live in fresh water. Who do you think? Who do you think is keeping those waters separate? Jesus. Think about it. Yes. Think about water you drink. Praise be to God. Yes. And I've looked at that fresh water being dark and that salt water being like and you can scoop it up and you can taste the salt in it. In the fresh water, no salt is in it. But somebody that's bigger than you and I is keeping them apart. Praise be to God. That same somebody ain't far away. He said, if you let me in, I'll come and live in you. Yes, he said. You said, I need a miracle. The miracle worker is living in you. You got to wake up and know. 
Who's living in you? Who's keeping you? Thank you, Lord. Somebody quiet. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes. I know he lives in me. Amen. Yes, amen. Huh? Hallelujah. If he ain't in me, this, there's no truth in this word. In the word, he said, I knock on your, your heart. Mm -hmm. If you let me in. He's a gentleman now. He ain't going to break down your door. Like some of them fellas that you used to know were but you told him don't come back no more. <laughs> <laughs> I picked it up in the spirit when my antennas caught that. Oh, huh? <laughs> he showed up. <laughs> who is it? You know who it is. I told you not to come back. <laughs> well, I'm here. Somebody out there. Mm. Y'all keep on. I read all your mail. You better tell the Lord. Tell him. Don't tell him. Don't send him more to him, Lord. <laughs> He said, well, just crack the door. I want to talk to you. No. And you, you crack the door a little bit. He stick his toe in there. Now you can't close the door. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to leave it. Leave it, please. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. God. Let me tell you something. 1967, Christ came in my life. The Lord the Holy Ghost. Do you know the enemy still calls my body, his old house, that's right. He ain't never stopped calling your, even you gave yourself to Christ, he's still looking at an old house. That's how I used to live. <laughs> and if you let your guards down, Pastor preached to us, he said, stay out in the cemetery because the old man is dead and buried. And every time you walk in the cemetery, he tries to come alive. <laughs> Help me, Barbara. Cause out of mind, you got you got to stop the cemetery. You know what the cemetery is? Thinking back. Mm. God gave me a message. Don't even think back. Cause you think back, you might stop. And you keep on thinking back, you gonna look back. That's right. And you look back, you might turn back. Right. But I heard the word of God said, keeping our eyes before thee. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Looking where you're going. Pointing the path. Praise God. So, Sir Carla, go over, the, go over to Romans. Briefly, I'm finished. I'm so glad. Romans. Mm -hmm. Chapter 6. I'm glad that. You hear what I said, daughter? I'm telling you right now. You got faith. You got somebody agreeing with you. You and your mother. You can get it. Amen. I don't ask me how. I don't know how. But I know he can do it. Amen. Amen. And I know he wants to do it. Yes, he does. You see, God will lead you into things, and I'm learning this, that you just can't do. That's right. He'll lead you into it. His whole reason is because he wants to do it. And he wants to get the glory. Yes. So if you can do it, you have no need for him. That's right. But when you can't do it, huh? You know you can't do it. No way you can do it yourself. And it gets done for you. You got to set your God be the glory. Amen. God did it. Don't ask me how, but he did it. He did it. Praise him. Praise, him. Praise God. Amen. 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 I, I got to say this real quickly. When, well, how long ago was it? Sisters, family, you over there? You, you still with me? Sister, where's Sister Scanner? We went to the, uh, to the eye doctor. It's been taking care of us for a long time. And he told me a long time ago that I had cataracts. He said, now if you want to get back 20 or 20 vision, you had to go have some surgery done and have them removed. I just said, I didn't want to do that. I want Jesus to take them off. Y'all listen to me? Amen. So I began to pray about it and trust God about it. Well, we went, what, how long ago? About two weeks ago, just kind of three weeks ago? Yeah. This is what the doctor said to me. He says, oh, he said the cataract that was on your left eye has stopped growing. Amen. It's a very slim size. It was the last time you were here. He said, and the one on 
the left side, it scrolled very little. You know what I said? Meltdown. Amen. I said meltdown. Praise God. Hmm? Praise God. Yes. See, what y'all don't understand, when there's a little bit, all you got to do then is just praise God for the whole thing. Let me give you a scripture. He said, one of the disciples said, send the crowd away. They've been almost, for two days, three days, they, they, they're going to faint. They had nothing to eat. Jesus said, he said, have them all sit down. He set them down. Men, when he set them all down. What was 5,000, I believe it was? Yes. They said, he said, what do we have in the camp? He said, there's a lad here. He ain't got number two little fish. I'm going to help somebody. He got two little fish and five million low. What is that to this big crowd? This large crowd. It can't be that many people. When you learn to give him thanks for the little bitty thing, yeah, he can blow it up like you blow it up a balloon. Yes, right. Amen. 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 Yes. Give him thanks. Yes. So when the, when the doctor said, oh, it ain't grown no more, I said, that's it. So since then, you know, I think on the word, I mentioned the word, and the Lord said to me, he said, son, remember my blind bodies? He couldn't even see. Uh -uh. And I, I took care of his sight. He was blind. He said, do you think cataracts is any problem for me? That's right. Nothing that he can't do. Nothing. Too Nothing. So the house that you're looking for, <laughs> I'm, listen, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, daughter, but I belong to God. Amen. He tells me, he tells me, he tells me about people. Amen. He reveals to me because he know I'm sincere in my heart, and I pray for you. It's going to happen. Amen. Amen. It's going to happen. I don't Amen. care what kind of stop signs the devil put up. That's right. Praise be to God. Amen. He can't, he can't, he can't stop God. No, he can't. Nah, he may call he may cause a slight delay. Yes, right. Huh? Yes, who, who was it? He called the he, he called the delay. Uh, uh, I'm going to get it. I'm going to, Daniel. When Daniel prayed. Oh, yes. Huh? Yes. What 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 yes. what what the Gabriel said to him? He said, "Was it Gabriel or huh?" He said, "The Lord heard heard your prayer the first day." Yes. yes. He held it up. That's right. Yes. Go go over there to John. Go over there. This, this is the confidence that we have in him. That if we ask anything. I used to believe that you couldn't ask God for anything. That's right. People said, you can God will do some things. He can do everything. If it's in if it's in his will, that's right. You know what I mean? If it's in his will, in case you don't know what the will is, you won't leave here without knowing. I'm gonna make you to know. He has his will from Genesis to Revelation. Amen. This is his will. The six of the six books. Praise God. Amen. Huh? Praise God. The can mic. you hear me? The mic. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you. Amen. Amen. So I found out you ask anything. Now here's how you know where it's according to his will or not. You got a subscriber? Yes. This is a confidence. Tell them what you're reading at so they can read it with you. First John. First John. Chapter 5. Chapter 5. Uh-huh. At the 14th verse. 14th verse. And this is Wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't anybody get that? I'm about to miss it. I said, well, I said, one of the ladies that read it. I don't know. This is what she, I think this is what she read. No, you're going to see it. This is what I do with a brother. When people look at me and, and we get, I said, I'm going to tell you where you can find it and read it. Then you make the decision whether you want to receive it or not. Amen. I said, because it just don't apply to, to you. It applies to me, too. Amen. It was here long before I got here. Amen. Come over here. And don't let nobody tell you anymore in your life, well, the white man broke the Bible to keep the black people down. That's one, that's one of the biggest lies I've ever been told. Yes, if I'm going to write a book to keep people down, I sure ain't going to be writing them in the replies to myself. Right. Huh? You ain't going to write something that condemns you if you're trying to hold somebody down. That's right. Can't nobody stop you that's right. but you yourself. Amen. Praise be to God. Read Amen. on. Tell them again. First John chapter 3. Five, verse 14. First John, chapter 5, verse 14. Read. And this is the confidence. Now wait. Y'all know what confidence is. The assurance. This is the confidence. Uh-huh. That we have in him. Who we? The believers. 
It ain't for everybody now. Don't think it's for everybody. No, it ain't. That we have in him. Uh-huh. That if we ask anything. Wait a minute. Something. Anything. If we ask anything. According to his will. According to his will. I showed you the will. You should live in houses you didn't build. You got to win at the house in there. Yes, it is. Praise be to God. Huh? Huh? Read. He hears us. He heareth you. Yeah. Now, that's set. now that, that should finish that part right there. I don't, I, you ever heard people say, well, I prayed. I hope the Lord heard me. See, they pray, they're praying. Uh, they don't have no confidence in what they just prayed. They ain't going to get it. You got to pray. You got to ask in faith. Uh, he hears us. Come on, I can get finished. And if we know that he hears us. Now wait now. now. Look, listen real carefully. He said, if I ask, and it's in his word, I know he heard me. Then it says, now if I know that he heard me, mm -hmm. then I know. I have the petition mm -hmm. that I'm asking. Mm -hmm. Is that what it says? Yes. Read it. Whatsoever we ask, uh -huh. we know. We know. We know. You can know. That we have the petition that we desire of him. Now, what are you supposed to do when you read that? Thank Just start praising him. Yes. And start thanking him. Because thank it's yours. Because yes. he can't lie. That's right. There's no lie in him, but there's another reason he can't lie. That's right. Because when he speaks, it creates. That's right. Oh, thank you. Good God, my. That brought a picture up in the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you just like Jesus said said to Peter, "Flesh and blood didn't reveal it to you, but my Father which is in heaven." She clapped her hands. She heard exactly what the Spirit said. Yes. And there's some of you that've been here with me ten years. You did, and I've said it. I've said it more than one time. You didn't ever pick it up. That's why he can't lie. That's, right. That's why he don't lie. That's right. And he told me that. He said, I'll tell you why. It's not that because there's no lie in me. That's true. He said, but there's another reason why. And I won't repeat it. You heard me, then you know. That's right. That's why. That's why. That's why. That's why. So Jan, all you gotta do just keep him on coming over here and you find out too. So Jan said, Well, I missed that. I want to get that. I heard her. <laughs> I'm glad to see you, Sister Jen. Yes. Praise be to God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Sister Jen, yes. that we have what? The petition, petition. that we desire. Go to the go, swing, go to the third chapter. And that, uh, first John chapter 3. Now look, now let, let him get over there. Go over to First John chapter 3. So you're going to understand why all this is happening for you. Uh huh. Verse 22. Verse 22. Go ahead and read it. So and whatsoever we ask. We receive of him. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. What you ask, you receive. Now, don't let nobody talk you down. Yes. Tell me, well, you know. Yeah, I know what the word of God says. Mm -hmm. And his word is true. Amen. Don't let nobody talk. If you got somebody talking against what you're going after, you need to get away from them anyway. That's right. Because that's an old doubting spirit. Yes, it is. Hello in here. And I want to say that you can't tell everybody what you believe in God's word. Right. Amen. So you got some doubting Thomases out there. That's right. Hello in here. That's right. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Uh-huh. Go on. Because we keep his commandments. There I go. That's why we know we get it. Because we keep his commandments. He got eyes. Mm -hmm. He made us in his image. Do you have two eyes? Yes, you do. What did he tell Solomon? I'm going to be looking. You got two ears. He said, I'm going to be listening. He listened to what you're saying Amen. about your brothers and your sisters when you're in with them. Amen. Huh? And, then, and let me tell y'all something. Stop, stop agreeing with sinners. That's right. Don't be, don't be agreeing with no sinner because he ain't never going to say or she ain't never going to say, amen, what God wants them to say, especially about your brothers and your sisters. Amen. Hello in here. Amen. I'm trying to help you. Yes. Let me help you a little more then. And Jesus on the cross, he, he, he's about to leave, he's about to, amen, 
He's about to stop living and then live again. Ain't this powerful? He lives in you. He said, no man take my life. I can, I can die and then I can live again. Amen. Now that same Jesus lives in you. That's why the gift of God is eternal life. That's why you have eternal life. Praise God. You ain't going to die. You just going to fall asleep and, and, and swap worlds. That's all. Got to be acting from the body to be present with the Lord. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. 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 So people, amen, that don't know him, amen, they'll tell you, I don't understand. I don't see it. Mm -hmm. I can't see it that way. That's right. Praise God. Amen. Praise him. Uh-huh. We're going over to Romans real quickly. I'm going to read a couple of verses to you here. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid, I'm reading Ephesians chapter no, 6. Romans. God forbid, mm -hmm. how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer than we in? Now let me say something here. Some people Romans. commit sin. Romans 6. And some people live in sin. Mm. Now light housekeeping is living in sin. Yes it is. Yeah. Oh. Jesus. I got to put it out there, Bishop, because it's true. Light housekeeping is living in sin. Huh? Some people commit sin. They they do something, they say something, and they realize that was wrong, and what they do, they repent and ask God to forgive them. I shouldn't have. Now, if you ain't got so tight that you can't repent, you're in trouble. Praise be to God. So God forbid, how sure we that are dead to sin living like that? Know ye not that so many of us was baptized into Christ Jesus, was baptized into his death. Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death. That like as Christ was risen up from the dead by the glory of the Father. Sister kind of going to Ephesians chapter 1, I think it's 17 verse. The glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in the newness of life. You got a new life. In Christ. Praise God. You got a new life in Christ. I have a new life in Christ. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are brand new. Ephesians. I'm going up to Ephesians. Chapter 1. Chapter 1. Uh, what's the 17 verse? Let me see if that's what I want. And the God of our Lord. That, that's what I want. Now, wait now. I want everybody to get on to see this. Because this has been blessing me. Uh huh. Read it, darling. And the, God of our, and the God of our Lord, Jesus Christ, uh -huh. the Father of glory. Now wait. Bishop, remember I said the glory, is, the glory is on you? When you look in the mirror, oh, whenever you get home, you look in the mirror, and what you see is not what the devil sees. He sees the glory. Yes, he does. But he see. You see, mm, you look at yourself. Hey, what he see? That's right. He see the glory of God on you. Amen. Uh huh. So why? How did why he see? It? And who? And the God of who? The God of glory. Glory. Uh huh. May give unto you. Now here what the God of glory to give unto you. What do you want to give to us? The spirit of wisdom. The spirit of wisdom. Uh huh. Read. And revelation. And revelate your mind. Revelation. Uh huh. And the knowledge of him. And the knowledge of him. Who? And the knowledge of Christ. Read for me. The eyes of your understanding. The eye, look at you. See, your eyes got to understand. The eye of your understanding. He ain't talking about your natural eye. How many of you, amen, have closed your eyes and could see things and visualize things? Amen. That's the eye he's talking about. Ha, ha, ha. Yes. Praise be to God. The seen but untouchable. Are you listening to me? Yes. Praise yes. him. Read, daughter. Being enlightened. Being enlightened. That ye may know. Watch it. Wait, wait. This is what got Bishop. This got my attention. When he said that ye may know what? What is the hope of his calling? What is the hope of his calling? And what the richness of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. That's enough. Let them read the rest when they get home. You know he's inheriting. He didn't save you just to save you. He saved you because he had an assignment on you. There's some people that you will touch that you can reach that I, Bishop, or anybody else in here will never reach. 
Praise be to God has assigned them to you. That you witness to them. Praise be to God. Amen. Amen. So whatever he tells you to do, do it. Be busy doing what he tells you to do. Praise be to God. Let me help somebody. Some of you may say, well, I tried Spelman, and they treat me so bad. Well, let me tell you what he said. When you do what I tell you to do, and who's up a house, whoever it is, and they treat you bad and don't receive you, he said, when you leave out the house, That's off your feet. shake the dust off your feet yes. for a testimony against them. Yes. Praise be to God. Don't worry about they didn't receive you. They didn't reject you. They rejected Jesus. Yes. Hello in here. People used to say things, amen, that I hear they said about me, amen. Bishop, and it made me feel so bad. I could have cried. To one day God told me, he says, son, a visit was going to come. Mm. They're going to do that. He said, don't you be sad or worried no more. So a visit will come, but woe be to him. Yeah. God said, woe be to him. He said, I'm going to get him. <laughs> Don't you worry. I've learned this. And I'm closing out with this. God has made me to know about his people. When someone becomes your enemy, they become an enemy to God. That's right. God said, so whoever becomes your enemy, they're my enemy too. Yes. Touch not my anointed. Do God Almighty, when you got the Holy Ghost, you're anointed. Yes. <laughs> How are we here? When you're walking in or not, everyone's standing. I want to pray a general prayer. Be in the hands of Bishop. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Sister Amy, come down here. You and your mother. I want this daughter 